<laughs> Listen, I'm let's move on to round number three. Again, DJ scratched the best of, okay, the, from the years 1990 to the year 2000. We've been talking a bunch of records so far. Let's wrap it up with round number three. Two records, the last of the bunch, brought to us by the guys on the team right here, my man Cool Breeze, bringing a classic called Give Me Some More, nice. up against my man, the good Reverend Doctor with The Whole World by Busta Rhymes. Let's start out with Give Me Some More. Yeah, as a shorty playing in the front yard of the crib, fell down and I bumped my head. Somebody held me up and asked me if I bumped my head. I said, yeah. So then they said, oh, so that means you're going you gonna to switch it on them. I said, yeah, flip mode. Flip mode is the greatest. You know, and as a shorty, I was always told that if I ain't gonna be part of the greatest, I gotta be the greatest myself. Come on, come on, yeah, come on. Yeah, nigga, what? What a surprise. Give yourself make a nigga close over your eyes. All my niggas getting money capitalized. Die, little small guy, we on the rise. Everything a nigga touch flat, the mind's full of your crib, you know we coming on supplies. Got a big gun and I'ma show you the size. You fuck with any of my flip mode family ties. Me and my niggas be coming through, stroking you out. Killing off any and everything you're talking about. See you in the club, now we walking you out. Should have thought twice before you went and open your mouth. Yo, anyway, we stay keeping it moving. Fuck it with the wrong nigga, hope you know what you're doing. Now blame me, all the same niggas is lame. It's not a game, make a name still quick in your brain. That nigga's had enough? Give me some more. That nigga's want to rouse Give me some more. Just left with a weed at? Give me some more. I know y'all niggas need that. Give me some more. Even though we gettin' money, you can give me some more. Put the cars in the big crib. Give me some more. Everybody spread love. Give me some more. If you want it, let me hear you say it. Give me some more. Left. Oof. Fire. Ouch. Big record. Big, big yeah. record. Yeah. Big tune. Big tune. Four. I've heard Buster Rhymes and DJ Scratch Marriages before, and they're fire. And I also heard he likes Scratch's production because he, he's the type of producer that gives him beats that other people can't rap to, apparently. And I can see that being with the case with one of these kind of beats. Hey, right? yeah, no, he Absolutely. Definitely does. I want that beat because it's complicated. <laughs> Buster's good at that kind of stuff. And he's amazing at it, actually. And there's a classic marriage right there of, of, their, of their, their two talents. Mm-hmm. Again, we're talking Buster Rhymes once again. And we were talking about this album a lot tonight. So maybe we might need to, I think we didn't do a battle with this album. We definitely have Buster Rhymes album battle, but the whole. We're talking about disaster when disaster strikes a lot. We're talking good reverence pick for the whole world looking at me. The whole world looking at me. Watching and waiting to see. If I forgot my destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole yeah. world looking at me. Yeah, I feel so weird. Yeah, I feel right in front of my destiny. The whole hey, yo, world looking at me. I feel so supreme. Watching and waiting to see. Yeah, uh. If I forgot my destiny. I feel so good. Cool. The whole world looking at me. Uh. My interruption caused a major concussion. Don't be rolling sun. We need a couple buffering. Beat the post production. Follow my instruction. Bounce back a repercussion. Cause mass destruction. Fuck around straight until your plan malfunction. Sit your ass down. Hey, bouncing out the flushing. Check extra P by the boom. Weed from a Russian. I remember when I used to buy for next to nothing. I got so much to offer every time I tell you something. I'm about to drop it. You can never stop it. Let me quickly chop it. Steal a lot of niggas out of lies of false profit. The rhyme and lose gossip. Hold your head and shoulders, yo, I go with evil holders. Dealing with the facts, I hold the science in the folders. So you know how to knock you from concussions into comas. Test shit, I pull your brow from out your press kit. Mess with shit like this after God bless you. The whole world looking at me. Watching everything. I feel so supreme. The Bible is my destiny. I feel so good. The whole world looking at me. Watching everything. We got the people that are destiny. I'm gonna snare on that. It's crazy. Mm. Yo. He said he said he was the rhyme and Lou Gossett. Julian? <laughs> 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 you know Buster Rhymes again, Gossett. another representative for DJ Scratch production on the table. This one brought to us by the good Reverend Doc. Was that? That's a tough one. That is a good one. So listen, let's talk to the to the two guys first that brought these records to the table. Let's go ahead and start with uh, Cool Breeze. What made you think about Give Me Some More? Uh, that song was this uh, classic song. I think it was a fun track. Uh, the video, definitely the visuals for that went along with the song. It was this everybody in there having fun. I think it was a couple of cameo appearances in there, if I, if I uh, remember correctly. I know Spliff was in there in the video. 
they did mm. sort of like some cartoon elements in it from what i remember yeah. um and i just think that, that that song alone was just a huge huge song huge track and i just think that um but bust rhymes on there spitting fast it's just like yo this this song, this song is crazy it's like you can't deny it you can't deny it That's one a of the top one of the top songs in hip hop during okay. that Yep. Very good. Very good. Good choice. Good choice. Thanks for bringing that to the table. Go ahead, good Rev. What are you thinking about? Why, what, what made you think about this particular record right here? It's actually the first, I think it's the first song on the album. And even the intro was, was fire, but that's for another show. But this, this song, I don't know, the way that he flows on the beat mm. and what he used for it to make the beat, mm. what did how he, use? he used it, it was... Uh, what did he use? Like, uh, hold on. I have, I'll have to. Uh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> hey, I I, I'll have to find it because I have. I have. It, you you don't gotta give us a specific, but what is it about? I guess the beat that, that, that like like that you're, you're saying like like yo he used us such that made it do what now? Onyx Onyx had used the same sample on their album Shut Him Down, and this album came out around the same time. So nah. I was listening to his version like, oh snap. Wait, that's Onyx. But th- his 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 lyrics are Buster's lyrics are, are way better than Onyx's on on this particular sample, but but just the way the beat knocks. Yeah. Like I, I'd love to get like, when you when you listen to that record in good speakers, yeah. I, I want to know Hobo's opinion on, on, on the Onyx and, and Buster comparison because he, he doesn't like yelling rappers, apparently. He doesn't like rappers that yell. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Uh, am, I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh-oh. I don't like M.O.P. yelling. Oh, <laughs> don't put words in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. I don't like M.O.P. yelling. Wow. That's so it's said. specific. It's specific. It's specific. The to MOP, yes. <laughs> yeah, listen, I like, man. I like. <laughs> yeah, listen. I like you, you rumble, f around like with hobo still if you want to, man. F around with hobo <laughs> if you want to. You gonna know, f around and smack somebody with the butt of that gun? I'm telling you, man. The fuck are you? Oh, y'all are wild. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Jules, Jules always trying to size me up. I don't understand. Yo. I don't understand. <laughs> He always trying to fix me up. You hit me with your gun, hobo. <laughs> I'm saying, I just, I just, I, I don't like MOP's enthusiasm. Sorry. Yo, I used to live down the street from one of their relatives, son, and they are exactly what you think. <laughs> yes, MOP exactly like what you think. Yes. <laughs> let's stick to let's stick to the script real quick. Let's talk about these two records. Give me some more. The whole world looking at me. We find out what both people that brought the records to the table think. Let's go. Who was the person give their vote? Chat room. Let's get that poll up if you don't mind. Let's put. Give me some more versus the whole world looking at me. Something's wrong with the poll. Can't get it up for some reason. Pause. Oh, easy. Okay. He said it. He said it. He said it. Yeah, That's him. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> the whole, whole for, obvious, for obvious pauses like that, sometimes myself, I tell you what to do, I like to pre pause. And then <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a, it's just a, it's a voice, a bunch of like, you know, have y'all seen the hobo and cam? I mean, the hobo, okay. The camera, yeah. hobo and cam. The camera running mace footage that's been, yeah, it's floating. great. It's great. That's hysterical. Nah, so like, nah. I'm glad we don't take it to that level of petty. But again, it, there's people that take it to that level of petty. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be all your P's and Q's out there, like guys. Don't, don't let them catch you slipping. So, let's talk about who's going first here. Give me some more. The whole world looking at me. What's going on? Uh, although, I like, give me some more, but I like the whole world's looking at you more. Oh, I, triple C put the first vote like, down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that more, but I didn't uh, expect that, that. But get that. Give me some more. Wasn't that a Hitchcock um thing, beat? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's psycho. Uh, no, psycho, 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 oh, psycho, 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 uh, psycho. One of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> one of those, one of those scary one of those killer movies. One of those. It's one of those American movies. classic films. Yeah. Right. That's For how sure. black people summarize movies. It's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah how you that? We'll know exactly what you mean. <laughs> 
So, so, okay, so we got we got one vote in for the whole world looking at me. You want to elaborate, or is it, or or you just want to move on? What's going on? Well, like the good ref said that beat. I don't know what he used, but I like that any any that, that, that stop and go. Yeah, yeah. and Buster he flowed on that. Yeah, Buster's like okay, their marriage is, is insane. We got Triple C putting the first vote down. Does anybody feel the same or feel the opposite? Give me some more for me. Oh, DJ Scan, let's speak on it. Nah, just again, uh, again, again, samples. Once again, the sample game is crazy because we know what we know it is. We know where it came from, and what what Scratch was able to do, right? I think DJ Scratch is a great example of a producer knowing his artists and knowing crafting and knowing the kind of beats that he likes. We know Busta likes offbeat, off brand, weird, just beats that mm -hmm. nobody can attack. And Scratch caught that and gave him that. And give me some more as a perfect example of, of that marriage at its finest. Because even mm. because on top of that, even even to give me some more, it's a it's more of a bounce feel with the drum programming. So it's not again, it's 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 not even a straight four mm. fourth, it's off beat. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it, it all per obviously it's an on purpose off beat, but do you think he, Yeah. Is he is he pulling the dilla? Is he some No, no, no I, I just think it's just it's just it, I just think it's just it's just more of a of a bounce style. I, I don't think it's it's more of an off timing with the programming on the four note. But just more of it is how you program it for a different style to get a different uh, to get a different rhythmic feel. Um, Dan, I have um, a question. Yeah, uh, who's the first to do that offbeat style? Was it a scratch or uh, Timberland? I know Timberland does a lot like, offbeat stuff too. I, if I have to give a quick answer, I'm I'm gonna say Timberland first. But yeah. I, I I can't I can't I have to do a little bit of research just to confirm it. But I think Timberland was the first to bring it uh -huh. to us. I think you're probably right. Even if you want to say on a major level, you know where we're. Yeah, I break. think so, but I, I could be wrong because I think I, I I'm get, I'm getting Mr. Dalvin vibes for some for some weird reason, you know, because he was working with him, you know. But that's neither here or there, you know. Wow, you talking about you talking about the freaking you pause? Got it. Notice <laughs> <laughs> reference for those who don't know. Uh, okay, we got we got one vote in on each side Stand now. With so, the producer uh, knowledge, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stan always dropping nuggets. Let's talk about it. Give me some more. I got one vote. The whole world looking at me got another vote. Respectfully, the people that brought it in get their votes counted as well. But it's only one up at the point at this point right now. I gotta go say, I when when we when you said these battles, I was like, there's no way that the whole world is gonna even stand a chance. But listening to that record, man, that that's a really dope record, yeah. and and, mm -hmm. and the sample is tough. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like I, I'm. I'm still gonna go with give me some more, but only by a little bit, only mm -hmm. by a little bit. And 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 the the nod for me is the video for give me some more. The video yeah. was yeah yeah really crazy for me. Um, and just like like scan the way you were saying that that beat is not. I don't know anybody else that could really rhyme over that beat. Maybe Twister. Right. Um, right. But yeah, for him to to ride that beat and catch that beat that way and, and make it such a big record. I mean, it's a huge record. So I, that's that's why I got to go with that. I think the only other producer to really catch Buster like that or some awkward shit is like Pharrell, bro. Mm -hmm. My vote, my vote. I could be because some some people say Dilla, but I think yeah, Pharrell I was just might about to say Dilla. Uh, I was, I was, I was about to say Dilla because because Dilla's Dilla's giving him some some crazy yeah. shit that you wouldn't yeah. expect. Oh yeah, Q tip for sure. Yeah, Q tip. Yeah, yeah. Ike, yeah. yeah. what, uh, what do you think? Since, since, since you're drop you're dropping information right here, what do you think I, about? I don't I, I don't know. This is crazy because um, give me some more. The the thing for me about uh, about the production on that record was the fact that the the you you can feel the violin just very slow and easy, and then by the time that drum and all those drums kick in, it's like you're in a you're in that psycho form feel mat, uh, format of the production. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I think that's phenomenal, and it's it says something that we could only try to figure out one other MC that can rock on something like that. You know what I mean? I, I right. think I think I think though, uh, I I want to say I'm gonna have to go with uh, the whole world looking at me. I, mm. I think I, I, mm. I think it's I, I think it's um. I wasn't ready for that. I was not either. Yeah, I, I, it, it's it's something. There's something. Everybody in the chat room, get, with get, that get to the poll, pause, and place your vote. 
Because your vote is going to matter after this guy just placed his vote. Just give you the heads up. Speak on it, Ike. Yeah, yeah, there's something is there's something catchy about that record that I think it's something with the drum and the bass that that Scratch was able to ca- uh, to catch on that that gives it that slow kind of groove which set the tone for that album I think so I I think just more and more I listen to the whole world looking at me way more than I listen to Give Me Some More. Wow, that's interesting too because we all we obviously know Give Me Some More being a very popular single has a video which is a very popular video. Interesting. The big tune. Big tune. Yeah, no, nah, it was. The video was sick. All the colors and shit like that. They had all the yeah. Hype Williams, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Hype at his prime too. It was like them two, um, him and Missy, like Hype wasn't missing with anybody, but like when he got together with those two, it was like yeah, Buster Buster Brown's videos at that point. Was, Buster Brown's videos yeah. were crazy. You, you had to see, you had to see them shits. You had to see yeah. them shits. You know what though? I could I could be wrong about that. It may not it may not be um, Hype Williams. He started getting really good with Little X too, if I'm not mistaken. This Little X was probably his intern at this point. Yeah. Okay. He was on so the. Are you, are you sure? Give me some more. It's from the. Um, Hype Williams era, because I think it might have been, but then I'm also like, I remember being fooled by one video going like, oh, that wasn't Hype Williams. That was, I think it was Lil X or something like that. But regardless, he dropped fire visuals, no matter who the director was, most of his career. So we got to talk about it. It's tied up. Hobo, did we, were we able to get a, a poll up in the room for, the, for this particular vote? Because we'd love to know what the chat room is thinking. And we kind of need to know that, what their vote for this particular round would be, because it's tied up in this room at the moment. I can't, Both. there's something wrong with the poll. I can't get it up. Pause. <laughs> 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 Pause. Fair enough. Uh, may, maybe we could uh, ask everybody in the room, in the chat room, excuse me, if you guys don't mind. Let, I know you probably just answered and, we, and forgive us if there's something technical on our side that's not working. But if you guys could let us know real quick right now, give me some more versus the whole world looking at me. I'm looking at Dreddy. I'm looking at Malcontent. I'm looking at uh, Mr. September is Black Moses, right? I'm looking at you, Black Moses. I'm looking at everybody. We need your votes. Let us know who's taking this round. Again, your vote matters. Vote or die, like Diddy said. You know what I'm saying? Like, why don't you? Why don't you vote, Jules? Why don't you vote, Jules? The more they ready for for the knowledge, I'm about to put on the table. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everybody else, let us know what you so think. Far, like, we got- so far, we got three votes for give me some more. Nobody has voted for the for the whole world looking at me. Let's give this a few more seconds, like I said, and find out what I the did. Shout out to Rob Bufastic. Shout out to Rob Bufastic. Like I said, I think I see what you're saying, Hobo. I, I, I'm looking at the screen real quick, and I see a lot of give me some more, give me some more. So I think we're going to wrap this up. And like I said, a few more seconds is giving me like another 15 seconds. And then we'll figure this out and find out who's the actual winner of this round. With that being said, if somebody's looks, got a 20, you can get another 30 seconds. Gotta get them <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That yo Jules DJ just saying. Hey, listen, man. Jules is taking silver and gold now, right? Hey, uh, uh, mm. Absolutely. Pay attention. Salute to you. Salute uh-huh. to you, Phil Breeze. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ahead of the curve, Mike. Yes. Yes, sir. You got to stay. Yo. Pause. There's a pause in this. But listen, we go going to keep it pushing. The room has spoken. Again, the, the chat room, that is. And I got a feeling that it looks like Give Me Some More has taken the win in round number three. Put another Buster Rhymes record up on this board yep. right here. Woo! Give Me Some More. Moving on to the next round. This wraps up the first three rounds of tonight's battle. Again, we're talking the best of DJ Scratch production from the years 1990 to the year 2000. DJ Scratch is a legend, both in the DJ world, and he's no slouch on the DJ side. And he's amazing on the production side as well. Shout out to all the separate projects that we're not talking about tonight that have his involvement as well. I read something crazy tonight 